Hey everyone, welcome to your love reading. So the song that I channeled for today is Higher Love by Whitney Houston. There's something here about your energy being very uplifting, being very beautiful, and there being a higher purpose aside from love. There is some type of very significant soul mission that I feel like you and your person are meant to embark on together. So that is the song for this reading. I'm gonna go ahead and pull messages from your divine love, the karmic edition. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it. What messages do you have for the collective when it comes to love and romance? First card out is my karmic knows I'm not happy. So karmic doesn't always have to be a partner. It can be a mother, it could be a father. It could be somebody that they are associated with, but there are a lot of people around your person that know that they're not happy, that know that the situation that they're in, the energy that they're in, the environment that they're in, that it's not a happy one. Everyone can read on your person that they're in a very low vibration and that there's something that's very different about them. Whatever it may be, people are beginning to pick up on your person's social cues and everyone is noticing that there is something different about them especially if you and this person are not talking or if you and this person are not together if, if you and your person are together the moment that they leave you they feel like a sense of breaking or they almost feel this this yearning for those of you guys that are in connection or have been in connection with your person everything is amazing and magical when the two of you guys are together but when you guys have to say goodbye it almost feels like there's a part of you missing. And I feel like with this person, they're just no longer happy with the day-to-day -day hustle or the day-to-day -day bustle. Is that even a word? Um, because I just feel like with your person, the things that used to make them happy, the way that they used to go about life in general, it's no longer aligning with this recent... Um, elevation or this recent transition that they've had so what's happening is they're outgrowing their environment they're outgrowing where they used to be this could even be them outgrowing friends them outgrowing family them outgrowing this low vibration because once you've taken them higher like the song higher love once you've taken this person higher and you've shown them a taste of what it is to be free in a higher elevation in a elevated frequency this person is realizing that being at a low vibration no longer makes them happy no longer suits them is what i just heard um which is really really interesting i'm scared you will leave me one day this person i feel like has a lot of work to do and it's a lot of sub it's a, it's a lot of self work it's about this person feeling like they are deserving of your love, that this person is enough for you, whether it's they don't have enough financially, whether it's this person doesn't believe that they are worthy of somebody like you. There's a lot of fears behind your person because they know that they're not at your frequency. They know that they're not at your elevation. They can stay there right? They can stay there for a period of time while they're with you. But the moment that they leave you, they go back down to reality. They go back down to what their real life is. And I think that with this person, they know that you need them to elevate. They know that you need them to step up, that you need them to come and put the work in, to let you know that you're worth it. Even if it's them saying, listen, collective, I love you. I want this to work, but I have to fix things with me first. Will you wait for me? This person just has to open up and be able to express themselves, be able to be very, very honest with what their true feelings are and what they're going on. But I feel like with this person, they're bottling up a lot of their insecurities and they're not letting you see that they are worried that you are going to get to a place where you become out of sight. I always talk about kind of like the balloon theory. If you let a balloon go, the balloon eventually gets higher and higher where you can no longer see the balloon. That's what's going on with this person where, you know, every time that they let go of the balloon, they're scared that they're not going to be able to jump up and catch the string. And I feel like with this person, there's a lot of un 
underlying issues when it comes to certain abandonment. Especially if this person has abandonment wounding from their mother or their father. You've provided this safe place, this safe space where they can be themselves. They can be their authentic, divine spirit, their soul, who they really are at a soul level. They're able to be that with you. And being able to be free in, in their own individuality and not being who everybody thinks they are. And I feel like with this person, they're scared because you've given them a sense of freedom. Freedom to be themselves. And they're worried that they're not moving fast enough. They're worried that time is slipping away. They're worried that there's somebody else that's going to find you or somebody else is going to come in and swoop you up, swoop you off your feet. This is somebody that dreams about you a lot. If you're having a lot of dreams recently of your person or if your person is in your dreams, they're thinking about you very, very heavily. This is somebody that's in a heavy fixation because you're unforgettable. And you have this beautiful way of cleansing this person's soul. You have a very beautiful way of letting this person know that despite whatever you're going through, we will make it through the storm together. And I think that you do this beautifully with this unconditional love. And again, I don't know why, but I just heard the thought of you with someone else triggers them beyond control. And this person doesn't want you to know that. Like, I feel like for some of you guys, and this isn't all of you, but for some of you, the, I, this person is very possessive over you. And they understand your power. They understand your significance. They understand your uniqueness. But they also know that other people around you see it too. But they don't want to let you know how special you are. They don't want you to know how deep in they are in this energy. And I think that's why times you have this weird almost like push and pull. And I feel like with this person, there's a lot of changes or a lot of healing that they need to do. This person has dreams about you, dreaming about you getting married, about you guys going on vacation, about you merging families. For those of you guys that are able to have children, they dream about having children with you. I feel like this person um, has also been having some nightmares as well about them being out, seeing you with somebody else. There's a lot going on with this person because they know that they're miserable without you. That's why they're thinking about you. For a lot of you, you may not be in, 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 in um, conversation or commitment. I want to leave and come into union with you. This is somebody that's upset. This is somebody that knows that you're their soulmate, that you are their divine counterpart, that there's something very significant here between the two of you. That you two are a pair, that this is a love that is blooming and that you are the one for them and that there is this major deep soul connection. But for those people that have other energies inside of your guys' connection, whether it's a karmic lover or if it is a friend or a family or even you know a family has a certain ideal with who this person should be with whoever is involved here there's another influence there's an outside party that is causing a lot of a lot of um chaos in this person's life and they're miserable this is somebody that's trying to remain optimistic, but they're, they're beginning to understand that this peace and that this harmony, it sits with you. I feel like this person wants to reach out and communicate something to you, but this is about them effectively communicating. This is about them being able to tame down their ego and tap more into a heart space and operate from their heart chakra and really express themselves. Because I feel like with this person, for whatever the reasoning is, they're going through a lot of thoughts, a lot of doubts. They're having a lot of problems in their life. And there is this, this sense of hesitation because they're not sure what's to come. They're scared that you're done with them forever. And 
they feel like you and them had this um, misunderstanding for some reason. It's coming in as like this weird misunderstanding. For some of you, this person may have made you cry recently. And I, and I feel like with this person, they've just been through a lot. And again, that's not an excuse for any type of behavior, but there are certain things in life that do happen that create who we are. Like I said, sometimes our personal reality creates our personality. So with that type of energy, if this person has been stuck in a negative cycle, if they've gone through a lot and they've not done that healing where they don't feel like they're worthy of you, that's part of the problem. But they're realizing how miserable they are. They're realizing without you, they don't have anything. You've opened them up to this beautiful love. You've opened them up to something that they've never felt before. <laughs> Somebody has definitely been stalking you or watching you online. If you don't have anything online, this person is looking you up. Especially if they are dealing with somebody when this karmic leaves. This karmic also may be blackmailing your person into staying or guilt tripping them into staying for the kids. Or, you know, I'm not going to be able to do X, Y, and Z. If you're not here, what am I going to do? And I feel like your person has a big heart. And part of the problem with having this big heart is that they feel obligated to stay in certain situations that um, are unhealthy for them. They feel bad putting their wants and their needs above other people. So sometimes I think we get it reversed where we're like, this person is selfish because to us, they're being selfish, but they may be standing on some type of merit or they may be standing with a sense of tradition where traditionally, if you marry somebody or if you have children with somebody or whatever it may be, you have to do the right thing. Or if somebody needs something, they may look at you and feel like you have everything um, going for you, that you don't need their assistance the way that this other person does. But they're um, definitely in a very fixated energy. And with this person, they've really been bottling up how they feel about you inside. And there's so much more that they want to say and that it's really eating them alive. Because part of the thing with this person is that I feel like they compare you to other people. And when they compare you to other people, they just begin to appreciate and feel stupid because they understand what a truly unique and authentic soul you are and then that puts them back into this being miserable without you and i feel like with this person maybe they don't speak on it but they're very very passionate this person wants to take action they want to be able to touch you they want to be able to give you this affection and i feel like for some of you if it is a very intimate romantic relationship they're in an energy where don't think it's just intimacy you mean more to me than just that but that's how I'm able to show my love for some of them and I feel like with this person it's they're stalking heavy right now because they feel you detaching yourself energetically and when you detach yourself energetically remember if you are this person's sanctuary if you are this person's home they feel like they're homeless they feel like they have nowhere to hide. They feel like they have nowhere to go. So for some of you, this person has walked away from a karmic energy. I didn't really want to ghost you. Okay. So for some of you, if this person went ghost, that wasn't their true intentions. That's not what they really wanted to do. And I just think that for a lot of you, you have to remember or remind yourself that their absence has nothing to do with you and that you shouldn't take it personal. But it's about this person really trying to find their way and really trying to understand, you know, what do I need to do differently here? What, 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 what can I change? Because I do feel like there is this sense of solitude, but in this sense of solitude, this is where this person is beginning to truly understand what your connection is, who you are to them. And I feel like when they come back, they're going to ask for your forgiveness. This person is also getting a lot of signs and synchronicities pertaining to you. They're hearing your name. They're seeing your name. They're seeing 1111, 1212, whatever this person associates with you. They may even be smelling your perfume or your cologne. But this person is almost coming in with 
have a sense of mercy on them because when they do return, they want you to know that they didn't know what they didn't know. And that you're somebody that's really helped them understand not only what a divine connection is, but also help them understand who they are at a core level. When you've never experienced a certain type of passion or a certain type of chemistry like this, it seems almost unexplainable. So this person needed time to really process exactly what it is. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, it was other people's opinions, their family's opinions or beliefs. Let me put this one back. Show me what messages do you have for the collective? But this person didn't want to leave you alone. I can't live without you. I am leaving the karmic. Because I feel like for a lot of you, you had to withdraw your energy. You had to say, okay, you made a choice. You made a decision. I'm not going to continue to try and um, put forth the effort if you're not going to do it. It only works if we both put forth the effort at the same time. This is somebody that's realizing that they are their happiest when they are with you. And they're feeling this sense of, um, I almost get this energy where they're feeling compelled to follow you, to follow your lead. But they're hoping that you're going to be able to trust them. They're hoping that you're going to be able to understand that they didn't mean to confuse you with their hot and cold behavior. But this person has a lot of thoughts with what is the right thing to do. And I feel like this person right now is in a very negative mind state because they're, they're looking at everything cr crashing down around them. And it's funny because I feel like with this person, you may feel like a sense of depression or if, if there's at times where you begin to cry, it's not even you, it's this person. Because whoever is watching this right now, you guys have a higher vibration, a higher understanding, and a higher elevation of what's really going on. By the way, if you haven't already, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. But you have a macro perspective, right? You see what's to come. You have a sense of foresight. You have a sense of discernment. You, you, you get it. With this person, they're struggling. And... Granted, there may be times where you get emotional and you tap into this human, you know, this human experience. But I feel like with this person, they're really, really struggling without you. They're struggling to live without you. They're struggling. They're asking themselves, can I do this without without them? This is where my heart belongs. This is this is where my roots are. This is where I'm comfortable. You've provided this safety this safety energy where you are this person's soul family. You're meant to create new traditions together. This is an energy where you're meant to solidify your relationship in the 3D. It's not meant to just be a 5D relationship. But this is about this person knocking down their walls, restructuring things, and you're helping this person do so by creating certain boundaries around them. Wow, I love you. For some of you, this karmic energy is using children or finances against this person. I don't know why I just heard that and one of the cards said it. Show me. This is somebody that loves you. This is somebody that wants to take this leap of faith because they want to find a solution for your situation. They're having this clarity. They're having this insight, this major breakthrough. And they're acknowledging how important and how significant you are in their life. And they're paying attention to the signs. But there is a crossroad here for this person. I love the collective. I'm unhappy here. I'm scared that they're going to leave. I need to free myself from this energy. I need to be independent. I need to think for myself instead of allowing other people to come in and tell me what I am and what I'm not going to do. This is somebody that misses you so much. There's not a day that goes by that they don't think about you. But this person has to tap into their true north, whatever their north is. And they have to discover what their life path is. They have to seek the truth. Why are they... Why do they feel so empty about you? Why do you have such an impact on them that no one ever has before? What? Why is that? 
they have to find their way. There's nothing you can do. You can't force this person to find their way. The best thing you can do is say, okay, I've given you this higher love. I've shown you what real life is. I've nurtured you. I've created a safe area, a safe zone for you to be free, for you to be who you are. It's up to this person whether or not they choose. The moment that you let go, you're able to, to bring so much more in. You have to be fluid in this energy, especially if you're dealing with this divine person because you're dealing with a broken person. And the reality is not everybody's um, built to deal, with, to deal with broken people. And you don't have to deal with somebody that's broken. But if you love this person... And if this person does the work, I think that you're somebody that's a healer. So you heal those broken areas. You heal those broken bones. You heal aspects in this person. You create a safe place. You create a sense of nurturing and a sense of emotional stability for this person that they've never had before. This is somebody that wishes that you were there with them right now. Especially if you guys just celebrated um, the holidays. This person wishes that you were the one that they were spending it with. They wish that you were the one that they were sitting here giving thanks to. And I feel like they're really miserable. This is somebody that is saying, I have made the choice to leave. Just give me time. This is somebody that's, again, it's like they've made the choice. I'm planning on walking away from the karmic. Again, this is a karmic deck, so that's why we're having a lot of the karmic energy. But in the past, this came out sideways. They were stuck in ego, fear, and illusions. The illusion that this relationship wasn't real. The illusion that maybe their friends and family wouldn't talk to them. Um... If, if they were with you, whatever that may be. But this person, this person is feeling horrible about the way that they dealt with things. I'm struggling without you. Because this person loves you. That's part of the issue. I'm struggling without you because they love you. They realize that, again, it, it is a higher love. They, they're realizing that you can't put a price on somebody that you truly do love. You can't put a price on somebody that, that really is here for you. And this is somebody that's struggling because they know their sole purpose. They know that they're meant to be with you. They know that they're meant to build with you. That you and this person are meant to create with one another. What messages do you have for the collective? Three of Cups. If you and this person are in a third party situation, they're getting ready to leave it. But the three of cups to me is Mercury and Cancer. There is a very emotional conversation that is coming. A conversation where the floodgates are going to open. A conversation where there is a major reunion. And if you and this person haven't spoken for a long time, this person at least wants to start rebuilding the friendship. To get you to trust them. Because for some of you, you don't trust them. And they have to do the work. They have to prove to you that, that, that they are worthy of this. The funny thing about cancer energy is cancer is one of the most loving, nurturing, caring signs if you're in the circle, the inner circle. And the inner circle consists of a couple people. If you're not in the circle, cancer does not care about what you have going on and who you are. You can kick rocks. You can move to the side. Don't let the door hit you where the good Lord splits you. So this person knows that they're going to have to come in and that they're going to have to do the work with you. But I feel like there's going to be a major emotional outbreak here between you and this person. Because I get that this person is very emotional. They're in a very emotional energy. I think Scorpio season was kind of gnarly for them. And they felt like they had to make a choice. They had to make a decision. Mars and Aries. The thing about Mars and Aries is they make a decision and they stick to it. But they had to weigh the pros and cons in the situation, especially if you and this person are in a third party. 
they had to weigh out the thing. Okay, if I go with the collective, I'm going to lose, you know, A, B, C, D, and E. If I move with the collective, I'm going to be free. I'm going to obtain this higher love. I'm going to have true happiness. I can be myself. We can build together. We can grow together. But what am I losing? Am I going to lose my job? Am I going to lose? Is my family not going to talk to me? Will my children turn their back on me? Does this person really love me? What happens if I get close to them and then they leave me? Like this is the things that your person is going, going, going through or thinking about. But the beautiful thing about this two of wands is it's about planning, planning, moving forward. This is somebody that's making a decision. Aries make a decision. And this is a decision pertaining to partnership. This is a decision to take action, to reach out, to communicate, especially with death here. Something had to end. What had to end? This overthinking. They had to end this overthinking in order to have this progressive movement forward because this anxiety, the sleepless nights, the constant dreams, the constant reminders, they can't handle it. Got too hot in the kitchen. They had to get out. But they're going through this major dark night of the soul, this major energy that is changing. This is a transformation because they knew they couldn't stay stuck in the middle. Remember what I said earlier? They were at this crossroads. They had to make a choice. They could either continue to pretend, continue to mask who they really are, continue to allow their ego to conceal their true intentions. They could continue to project onto you, you know, you're doing this or you're doing that. In reality, it was really them. They could continue to hide their motives with this karmic energy, with the people around them and continue to put on a performance, continue to put on a show, continue to pretend. It's like, go ahead and put the, put your, put your clown mask on and continue to pretend that you're happy in a situation that you're not when you're really miserable or you can end it. Because this person understands with the nine of swords that the environment that they're currently in without you is negative and it's toxic. That's why they're wearing the mask. Because they don't fit in to this energy. They don't fit. It's not a fit. They're trying to put a circle through a square peg or through a triangle peg, right? Like it doesn't work. And in order for them to fit in with the lower vibrational energy, they have to mask themselves. They have to take parts of themselves away in order for them to fit. See, that's what people don't understand. When you're not living in your divine truth, when you're not living in your life purpose, you have to change who you really are. You have to take the aspects away from yourself that really make you who you are to be somebody different. Now this person wants to come forward and now they want to have a conversation. They want to have this new opportunity with you. There is some type of major solid message coming forward that is going to be a huge catalyst for change. This is going to ignite this situation because it's also coming with the Ace of Pentacles. Aces are all raw energy, but it's what we do with the energy. If I give you a seed and you plant it, but you don't water it, do you think the seed is gonna grow? No, it's not. So this person is in an energy where they're saying, I wanna communicate to you that I've made a decision to end a situation that's been giving me a lot of headaches, a lot of migraines, a lot of constant worry, and I want this new start, but you're gonna have to work with me because I'm not where I wanna be, but I know that if we work together, we can have this. We can rekindle this situation, but effort is required on both ends here. But this is somebody that's understanding that you are a divine partnership. You've activated this person's heart chakra. You are balancing their energy and they're in a major reflective state here. When I say they're in a major reflective state, I like the hangman. The reason I like the hangman is because they're no longer only seeing things from their viewpoint. Now, all of a sudden, it's 180. They're upside down. 
So they're able to see what you said, but they're also in an energy where they're beginning to see how warped, I don't know why that's the word that they use, but how warped their reality is, how warped it is to stay in an environment that they're not happy, to stay with somebody that makes them miserable, to listen to their friends that aren't happy. Why are you listening to the opinions of other people that they themselves are not living in their truth? They're not happy. They don't have happy, healthy relationships. So why would you listen to that? This is something that this person is beginning to realize. But it almost took this person to have this major shakeup in order for them to see things from a completely different perception. Because they're beginning to realize that their reality was an illusion. And that what goes up must come down. They're beginning to see, can I do the next 50 or 60 years of my life doing the same thing that I'm doing? The answer is no. So this person has to make a sacrifice. That's this two of wands in death. There has to be a sacrifice in order to have this reunion, in order to have this happiness, in order for the two of you guys to come together as one. But this is creating this major awakening and you're creating it because of your strength, because of your determination, your caring. You have the ability to put this person where they need to go. With this next full moon coming up, there's some type of major completion, but also a release with this person and a sense of fulfillment. You are going to be, re be receiving the fruits of your labor because I feel like the time has come for this person to move on, to move forward. Whatever obstacles were in your way, this person is now looking at them not as obstacles. They're beginning to see that there are things that they just need to work on, that there's a solution for the problems that their pride was blocking it, that this cold energy was creating barriers and interruptions and delays in your connection because they were being stubborn, because they were unable to see what you were trying to tell them. This person is beginning to realize that. It's a lot of um, Nine of Pentacles. For some of you guys, you may work with this person or you may have a business with this person or you're meant to have a business with this person. I feel like this person just wants to be financially stable. They want to be able to provide for you. Like they they want they want you to be happy with them because they view you as this nine of pentacles, this very attractive, abundant person, unicorn that that draws in all of this attention. And your person is sitting here waiting to take the next step. They know that also, too, with this energy that you're in, this beautiful Nine of Pentacles energy, you're attracting everybody, all walks of life. If you go outside, people are naturally looking at you. People are naturally wanting to know you, wanting to know what's to come. This is about also, too, this person relocating, wanting to receive opportunity, wanting to receive the opportunity to give to you the way that you've given to them. And they want to have a very successful relationship. And this is something that this person is getting ready to come forward and say, judgment. Listen, this person in this three of swords and, and the ten of swords, this is, you know, heartbreak hotel. Again with Whitney Houston, holy cannoli Batman. By the way, the 12 days of giving are up on the community page, so go check it out. It's going to start Monday where I'm going to tell you guys a word midway through the reading to put. You put the word and then it's um, randomly generated and um, I'll let you know what prize and everything you guys win that following Tuesday. So after that week, make sure because there's money, there's candles, there's tarot cards, there's readings. There are a lot of really cool things that you guys can win. So make sure that you look out for that, okay? And it's just my way of giving back and saying thank you. And um, again, this was Bob. Bob gave me the idea to do it and I love it. And I just wanted to give as much as I can because I really do love and appreciate all of you guys. But your person is in a mess. I mean, this person is, they're not okay. 
this is a very low moment for your person because they love you. And, and, and they're in this energy, this hermit energy where they're sitting here and they're thinking about how significant you are, how they messed up. Saturn and Libra, guess what? You made the wrong decision. So you are going to receive a level of pain when it comes to personal relationships. For this person, they couldn't make a decision whether they wanted a relationship or not. So they waited because this person wanted what was best for them. Maybe the grass is greener on the other side. But what they realized, it was, it was fake. It was turf. The dog peed on it. Even worse. When they could have had this beautiful field of sunflowers. This person wants a relationship with you. They want to come forward. They want to hug you. They want to hold you. They want to treat you and nurture you the way that you're meant to be nurtured. And they want this solid foundation. Let's see things from their 3D pers perspective. Also, guys, I added another um, reading midweek. It's called Tarot Talk Tuesday. So that is your general read where it's primarily all tarot cards. It's not necessarily love-based. It's just wherever the wind is taking us. So I do want to mention that. All right. What is, how does this person view their current romantic relationship? What, how do they view their current romantic situation with the collective? Seven of Wands, blocked. You may have this person blocked, but also too, they know they have to fight. They have to fight to get you. They're going to have to put forth the energy. How does this person, but there's a lot of compilations and that you're very protective of your energy right now. How do they view themselves in this connection? How do they view their role in this connection with the collective? Whoa, judgment. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. Judgment. Because when you live from a place of ego, guess what? You hang out with the devil. Don't be mad if you get burned. Whoever you come with is who you leave with. So if, and I always say this, the devil always takes more than it gives. People don't get that. People don't understand that. If, 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 if the devil, if you are on your right path, the devil is always going to do something to try to knock you off in order for you to get dragged back down to that lower vibration. They're in the sense of judgment. This is karma, spiritual karma, karma in general. Show me what is um, the collective's role in this connection? How does this person view the collective's role in this connection? The high priestess, look at you over here. The all knowing, all secretive, like, mm-hmm. I know what you did last summer type of energy. I know that you're lying. This person feels like you're being very secretive right now. They also feel like you know their secrets. Show me. What is blocking this connection with the collective? Shut down. One of you guys has shut down. By the way, all of this is going to be available in the extended. And the extended is available on Vimeo. The link for that will be in the comment section below. But it's dope. I'm not done yet. I, we have four more cards to pull. But it's dope because you get a deeper uh, insight on the way that your person is viewing things from their 3D side. So when I say 3D, 5D, 5D is all of their emotions, their energy, their soul, their higher self. 3D is what is happening in the now. What are they thinking about logically? How are they trying to process your connection? So this is a great option if the reading does resonate. It's kind of like a super personal reading. What is this person thinking about heavily when it comes to the collective? What are they thinking about? Wow, the Ten of Pentacles. This is, look, they're in deep thought about this, about marrying you, about being with you. What is their next action towards the collective? Last, uh, the last reading, I think it was them just waiting. Like they weren't taking any action. They were just waiting and watching. But what's their action this week? Or what, what is their action? What is their next action towards the collective? Okay, the Knight of Pentacles. They're in very deep thought, but I always think about Virgo as like get collecting all of the data in order to connect the dots. Like this is somebody that's putting, you know, the outside border of the puzzle together before they start to build the inside. And whoa, oh, come on. Why you gotta do me like this? Hold on guys, sorry. I think I've, I think I uh, think my coffee is getting the best of me. 
All right, let's see. So seven of wands, that's how. I don't even know where this two of pentacles came from. All right. So now let's figure out what is, um, what are they hiding? What is this person hiding from the collective? What are they hiding from the collective? The Ten of Cups. Aww. Ten, ten. Look, look at all the tens across the board. This person misses you. You have a lot of twos here. Um, a lot of tens, tens and twos. And what is the collective's advice on moving forward romantically with this person? Okay, your mirror is here. <laughs> it's not over. Don't turn your back on love. Love isn't easy, not for anyone. You can push it away because there's a few bad apples, but, but keep fighting. All right, so this is your reading. Uh, for those of you guys that want to book a personal reading, um, grab a tarot deck or whatever, manifestation candle. All that information will be in the description below. For those of you guys that are following me over to Vimeo, Simply click on the link in the comment section below. It will take you straight to Vimeo um, where you guys can purchase the reading. Again, we clarify all of these. We take a deep dive into your person's psyche and really try to understand things from their point of view because that's taking a higher elevated approach and it's almost like you're a fly on the wall in their room. Kind of creepy, but it's, it, it, it's a super deep dive. Um, with that being said, I love you guys so much. Thank you for all of your love and support. It truly means the world to me. Again, look out for the Tarot Talk Tuesday. Also, check out the community post about the 12 days of giving. I'm so excited. Um, and with that being said, I love you so much. And again, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your week.